Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm with ProCandlesupply.com. Today I'm going to be discussing some of the top fragrances to carry when you first start your candle line. We get this question a lot and there's not one clear cut answer because there's variables such as location, personal preference, and your customer's preferences that can influence this. So I'm just gonna go over how I approached it and what I was successful with. So when you're first starting, you're going to want four or five categories of scents. I would suggest one scent in each category and no more than around six cents total. Don't go overboard and start with like 56 fragrances because you wanna make sure you don't reach outside of your means. Startup should be as simple and inexpensive as possible. I started with the following categories. Floral, clean, sweet, sophisticated, and classic. In these categories, I personally have found the following fragrances to be the most successful when you first start out. For floral, I recommend lavender, honeysuckle jasmine, or rose. For clean, I recommend clean cotton. For sweet, I recommend either a fruity tropical scent such as fruit slices or Jamaica Me Crazy, or you can choose to do a baked sweet instead, such as cinnamon bun or blueberry cheesecake. For sophisticated, I recommend Egyptian Amber or an Oak Moss Amber. And for a classic scent, I recommend a vanilla such as Berry Vanilla or Cupcake. Generally speaking, lavender, vanilla, cinnamon, and clean cotton are scents that a lot of people like and can be found and burned during all four seasons. For example, lavender is relaxing and soothing and is burned all 12 months of the year. You can never go wrong with lavender. Be honest, who doesn't love a bubble bath with a lavender candle lit? I don't know anybody. Who doesn't love it? On to the next, vanilla. It's great because there's a lot of varieties of vanilla and everyone loves it. It's sweet, it's warm, it's comforting, and again, it's definitely burned all year round. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is always a safe bet because it can be spicy and it can be sweet. And it's an all-time favorite during fall and winter months. Oh, but our fruit slices though. It's so delicious. Its name just doesn't do it justice. It smells amazing. You should get a one ounce sample of it. You won't be disappointed. I'm gonna go eat my fruit slices real quick. Just kidding. Anywho, four of these fragrances, the lavender, the clean cotton, the honeysuckle jasmine, and the Egyptian amber are all in our soy candle making kit. So if you're just starting out, that kit is a great way to start learning how to make soy candles with some of the most popular fragrances. The link to the kit is below in case you're interested in looking at it. If you follow these guidelines and you carry one of each of these categories, you're almost guaranteed to have something for just about everyone that walks up to your scent table. And that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or contact us directly. And make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos on making your own handmade candles and soaps. Okay, bye.